My name is uh, Riza Haida Binti Miskam and I am an English teacher here in Sekolah Tun Fatima. Today's lesson uh, we have pollution as the topic um, under the theme environment in the Form 4 syllabus. Today's le lesson I have integrated ICT into the classroom. I took um, pictures from the internet uh, to show it to the students to ignite their interest and when I ask questions um, they are able to give me answers um, related to the images. Let's have a short review of what we learned in the previous lesson. Um, who would like to remind us? Uh, yes, Shah. Teacher, Previously, we discussed about pollution and its causes. Um, we were also assigned to the presentation today. Oh, yes. I remember giving you an assignment. Yes? Yes. Okay. Um, I can't wait to see you perform. But before that, I am going to show you a few slides to test your understanding on the previous topic. Okay, class. What can you see here? Is there anyone who would like to answer? Yes, I would like to hear from Fatin. Okay, well, what I can see from the picture shown is a factory that is emitting smoke into the air. So, as we all are aware of, the smoke released contains carbon monoxide that can cause dangerous diseases such as lung cancer and asthma. And it also contributes to the thinning of ozone layer and global warming. Yes, that's a very good answer. Don't you think so? Yes! Okay, let's move to the second slide. Okay. Now, it's a picture of a polluted river. Who would like to explain this picture? Okay, Farzana. Teacher. What can I see from the image shown is the river is polluted with a few huge lumps of rubbish which probably came from the city nearby. Then teacher, the colour of the polluted river changes from crystal clear into greenish colour teacher. So the river is not safe to be consumed by living organisms, especially by us teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, we probably should not drink water from the river, right? Yes. Because it's very polluted. Okay, let's look at the third slide. Okay. Is this familiar to you? No. Alright. My question is, if you were the boy in the picture, how would you feel? Who would like to answer this question? Okay, Nurin. But teacher, if I were the boy, I will not feel disturbed by the dirt and toxic in the river. Really? And maybe because it is a common situation to me, so it's not a big problem. And I may continue throwing rubbish into the river if no one bothers to correct me. Yes, if no one bothers to correct her, right? So early intervention is necessary. Okay, we need to educate our young children to not litter everywhere. If not, our rivers will turn like that and our children will not be able to experience clear water. Okay, let's look at the last slide. Is this disturbing? Yes. Yes, it disturbs me very much. Who would like to explain the image? Yes, let's listen to Patricia. This is a picture of land pollution. Land pollution may be caused, uh, may be caused by each household produce tons of garbage each year. And some of the items can be recycled like aluminium, plastic bottles and papers. But the items that cannot be recycled become a part of the landfills and this will lead to breathing difficulties and skin cancer that will affect the children in the picture. Yes, I agree. Okay, one, this is land pollution. Do you see this situation in our country? Yes. Normally, um, at which part of the country? The urban cities 
or at the rural area? Rural area. Do you know why? Yes, Jamila, would you like to answer? Mm, um, maybe they don't have money. They don't have? Money. Money. Money to? Uh, buy things. So they take things from the landfills. From the landfills. But this is actually not landfills, you know. This, this occurs at the side of the road. People throw rubbish there. They burn the rubbish afterwards and kids will go there and find usable items to bring back home and sell them. Okay, so this is um, very sad actually. Alright, now I have a task for all the members in the group. Okay, um, each group will discuss a pollution related problem and you have to provide solution for each problem. So, um, in the slide, you can see I have prepared um, five problems and each group will get one. Okay? Group one, please discuss um, about the endangered species and the solution. Group two, the thinning of the ozone layer. Group three, you will discuss floods. And group four, chemical waste from factories. And the last group, the melting of ice caps at the North and South Pole. Um, so each member will have to contribute your opinions. You have to know the, cause, the causes for the problems. And after that, perhaps you can insert some effects that uh, the problem have caused to the human beings. Also animals. Lastly, the solution. Okay, so this is more like problem-solving uh, discussion, right? After the discussion, I'm going to give you about um, 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to discuss. And after that, please select one or two person from your group to present to the class. Okay, let's look. Perhaps you should write the, what do you call the problem there on the picture, right? Because the focus is you. to the endangered species now. Okay, we are going to start the presentation uh, on the discussion that you have done just now. Uh, let's listen uh, to the first group. Anis is going to write the points, right? Yes, Anis, please come to the front. Anis will write down the points that they have. Malaysia, Malaysia, orang utan. Okay, okay, you have to put bracket. Okay, thank you, Anis. All right, who will present? Okay, Sofia and Karunisa. Okay, please come to the front. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I beg to teacher and all my fellow friends. I, Sofia Zati, and my friends Kairunisa, we will talk about the endangered species. Okay. Endangered species is animals that are uh, facing extinction in this world. In this world, um, the examples of endangered species are orangutan from Malaysia and for global is panda. So. As you can see here, the main cause for the extinction of endangered species is deforestation. For information, deforestation is an activity done by illegal logger, like cutting down trees. So if this continued, animals will lose their habitat of living. The effects of endangered species is the younger generation could not witness the animal if they disappear 
from the face of the earth. Okay, last but not least is the solutions for this problem. First is reforestation. The government should plant new trees to replace the trees that have been cut down by the illegal logger. And second, the government should increase the number of rehabilitation centres such as the one for Orang Utan in Sepilok Sabah and the one for Panda in Sichuan, China. With that, we thank you. Focus today is uh, on the listening and speaking skills. Um, the current situation here in our school is the students, they know how to write and some can write very well. But um, some of them, no, actually um, many of them, they cannot speak very well. So as far as possible, I, which I am um, also the head of panel, I like the teachers to do a lot of listening and speaking skills activities in the classroom. Okay, can we start with the second group? Um, Imai, can you come to the front and write down the points of your discussion just now? Warming, all right. Good, CFC, all right. Okay. okay. Let us now listen to Fatin and Inani as the representatives from Group 2. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very pleasant day will be to all. So today, Fatin and I will present about the thinning of the ozone layer. Now, the ozone layer is actually a layer of air that exists at the Earth's atmosphere and it occurs naturally. So what are the effects of the thinning of ozone layer? The first one is global warming and the second one is UV rays. UV rays is ultraviolet rays which can cause skin cancer which is not only dangerous to humans but also to animals. So the solutions that we've obtained to actually solve this problem of the thinning of ozone layer is first to reduce the use of refrigerators, um, air conditioners and electrical appliances that actually produce chlorofluorocarbon. Now the CFC is a main factor of the thinning of ozone layer because it can actually produce holes at the layer that can allow ultraviolet rays to pass through to the earth. So the second one is carpool. The rationale for this is because vehicles produce smog. Smog is a mix of smoke and fog. Okay. So as we all know, smoke con uh, contains carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, which are the greenhouse gases. And the third one is use eco-friendly products. Okay. Why? Because eco-friendly products are safer and natural. And next is to avoid using pesticides. Because pesticides can produce chemicals that actually contribute to the thinning of the ozone layer. And we should use uh, natural means such as crop rotation methods or intercropping. Okay, so that is all from us. With that, we thank you. So today we have presentations by the students and they did a wonderful job. Uh, they did songs, um, they did a poem presentation and those poems, for your information, were uh, created on their own. It's their own work. So I think that was really wonderful. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very pleasant day I bid to our beloved English teacher and fellow classmates. So today we are going to recite a collection of poems for you. Can you guess? I'm usually very quiet, but no worries. No one can live without me, and I'm one of nature's best friends. But cars and cars and girls hurts me. We are like enemies. Plants keep me going, and I keep you going. I am oxygen. Until you breathe in, and one single breath kills you as a result of all the poison that fills you. Only then will your change ever truly takes place and it may be too late for a 
look on your face. When I was born, I was given a ball. The ball was green and blue. My mom said, Share and take good care. It belongs to others too. Keep it clean. Keep the green parts green. Try to make the blue parts bluer. If you love this ball, it will never grow old. In fact, it may grow newer. Because I love this ball a lot. And I hope that you will love it too. It's the only ball we've got. What is this ball we're talking about? The Earth. What does the future hold for us? Smoke filled skies and poisoned cars. And broken land with useless dust. And nature's beauty behind bars. Can I ever show my children, if they ever come my way, the beauty of the sunset at the end of the day? Can I walk into a forest and surround myself with trees? Yet know that it will remain for me to visit as I wish. I know that I can today do all the things I've said. But when today is yesterday, will all the things be dead? This problem is huge. As we slowly see, we must fix it quickly in words and thoughts and deeds. With that, we thank you. You now will you ever learn? I don't know how, but I suddenly lose my soul. We must cherish it nowadays. Just one look and I can see all the smoke from the chimney of the factory. Oh, oh, oh pollution! Here you go again. My, my, how much I despise you, oh consumer. Let me shout again, why, why, won't you ever realize? Thank you for those wonderful presentations. I'm really glad that I'm able to watch it. Um, your presentation uh, really reflect your understanding about pollution and its effect. So from now on, I want everyone to remember not to litter and try to keep your surrounding clean. Is that understood? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perhaps uh, in our next lesson, we will um, discuss um, something much more important. And I hope to see you guys in our next class. Thank you very much.